Hey guys, it's Adam, and welcome back to another one of my Call of Duty Zombies videos. Today we'll be looking at five weapons that takes absolutely no skill to use. So before we get into today's Zombies video, our goal is going to be 2,000 likes right here on today's video. You guys have been hitting that goal on almost all of the recent Zombies Top 5s, and it honestly really does help out a lot, so thank you guys for that. And if you guys have any ideas for future Top 5s or Zombie videos in general, please let me know in the comment section section below and if you see a comment down there that you like go ahead and leave that comment a thumbs up besides that let's talk about five guns here in Call of Duty Zombies that absolutely require no skill to use so coming in at the number five spot we have the Thunder Gun and the Thunder Gun is one of those weapons that obviously doesn't really take much skill to use you point and shoot and it will absolutely obliterate everything that is in front of you and I actually originally had this weapon closer to the number one spot but the more I thought about it and I'm, the more I thought about how this gun performed in a Black Ops 1 Zombies I had to move it up because in Black Ops 1 Zombies this gun was good, it's still a thunder gun, but it was kind of unreliable. I don't know how many of you played a Black Ops 1 or have played it recently, but on Kinder Toten and also on Ascension, the thunder gun has a very strange and unfortunate glitch. There are times where you will shoot a zombie and your shot will not register. Sometimes multiple shots in a row actually will not register. And it is really annoying, especially on a map like Kino. On Ascension, it wasn't too bad unless you got cornered, but on Kino, if you kind of miss a shot, sometimes you are just dead. It blocks your path, you needed to kill that zombie to get through a certain area on the stage, or just going around the map. And this has killed me so many times on Kinder Toten back in uh, Black Ops 1. And that's one thing I absolutely hate about the Thunder Gun in BO1, but in BO3, the Thunder Gun is absolutely flawless. It works perfectly. It's on some Chronicle maps, add gobble guns to them, they're absolutely, it, it makes the Thunder Gun so powerful. And then of course, Revelations, it makes the Easter Egg easy mode. Any steps that require killing Margwas, the Thunder Gun will absolutely annihilate them, makes the boss fight super easy, and this gun takes absolutely no skill to use. So slotting in at the number four spot on my list, we have Deadwire, and Deadwire really isn't a weapon, but it is a incredibly overpowered feature in Call of Duty Zombies, and I definitely think it deserves to be on this list. And the thing about Deadwire is, first of all, just to obtain it, it's so easy. You don't have to go to the box or craft a wonder weapon. There really isn't much behind it besides pack a punch in your gun once, and then pack a punch in again until you get Deadwire. It's so easy to get, and it can be on absolutely any weapon. It can turn any gun into a wonder weapon, which is absolutely insane. Let's be honest, guys. Getting to higher rounds in Black Ops 3 Zombies is incredibly easy. All you have to do is put Deadwire on any gun, and you have a wonder weapon with you at all times. You can actually buy ammo off of the wall for, and this thing is just, it's just too overpowered, honestly. It turns any weapon into a Wonder Waff, and if you actually compare it to the Wonder Waff, because this is pretty much the Wonder Waff, this thing right here gets you a maximum of 10 kills per shot, very similar to the Wonder Waff, and it recharges every 5 to 6 seconds, so every 10 to 12 seconds you get 20 kills, and for the amount of ammo you can have in some guns, it is absolutely disgusting, and it is way better than the Wonder Waff, which is an actual Wonder Weapon, so so getting to higher rounds with Deadwire, let's be honest guys, it really takes no skill at all. So coming in at the number three spot on my list, we have the Ice Staff from Origins. And when Origins first released in Black Ops 2 Zombies for about the first month, people really didn't know how to use the Ice Staff properly. I really remember this, that running around using the Ice Staff was good for training and killing hordes, but it really wasn't the, the ideal staff to use. There were definitely other staffs, like the Lightning Staff, that was just much better for running around the map and training. But once people figured out how to use the Ice Staff and how to abuse the Ice Staff, it became one of the most overpowered wonder weapons in all of COD Zombies. In Black Ops 2 Zombies, Ice Staff strategies really had their limits, okay? You could only do some of these strategies so long before you ran into some serious ammo problems, and that was usually between round 50 and 70. If you didn't get a max ammo like every round or every second round, you were screwed and you had to move and you did not want to 
to run out of ammo in those specific spots. But in Black Ops 3 Zombies, all of those ammo concerns disappeared. In Black Ops 2 Zombies, you at least need a little bit of skill to use the Ice Staff in case you get in some bad situations or you run out of ammo. You need a little bit of skill to kind of get out of those situations. But here in Black Ops 3, you never have to worry about running out of ammo. You just pop Alchem, which is a classic gum. Everybody has access to that. Or some of the other crazy overpowered gums. Ammo is never an issue here in uh, Black Ops 3. And on top of that, I find the Ice Staff is even more powerful. I feel like it's more effective against the Panzer. So any situation you're in with the Ice Staff in uh, Black Ops 3 Zombies, you will absolutely annihilate. No ammo problems. Round 100, easy. And it takes absolutely no skill to use. So coming in at the number two spot on my list, we have the Apothecan Servant. You guys knew this gun was going to be somewhere on today's list, but the Apothecan Servant. I want to talk about the Shadows version and the Revelations version because they are both different versions in my opinion. So let's start off by talking about the Shadows of Evil version of the Apollocan Servant because that's where this gun actually first appeared in COD Zombies and when the map first came out, the Apollocan Servant had a upgrade glitch. You can actually pack a punch this gun and get the upgraded version and with the upgraded version of the Apollocan Servant, that made this gun absolutely untouchable. Nothing even came close to how good this gun was, but eventually they patched that, and now the Apollocan Servant is still a very good wonder weapon, but since it has really low ammo, it kind of balanced it out a bit until we had the Revelations version where you could actually pack a punch this thing and have that and not be a glitch. It is crazy, crazy overpowered because when you upgrade it, first of all, you get more ammo Ammo, you didn't have as much ammo as you did with the Shadows Path version. I think you have 15 shots on Rev, but the big thing with the pack a punch Apothecan Servant is the duration of the gravity hole, whatever you want to call it, it lasts longer. It lasts like twice as long, and I did some tests on Revelations with the upgraded Apothecan Servant, and in the higher rounds when zombies are spawning really fast, you can get upwards of 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 kills per shot and pair that with cobble gums like Alchem or the max ammo one that gives you ammo you are absolutely just unstoppable and this gun right here made revelations so incredibly easy for high rounds round 100 is a joke round even 200 isn't all that impressive with the upgraded apothecan servant so coming in at the number one spot on my list the one weapon in all of call of the zombies that's just takes absolutely no skill to use and heck my dog can probably use this gun and be effective with it that weapon is the uh, lightning bow on eyes and taraka and i was kind of in between putting the apothecan servant here and the lightning bow but the more i thought about it the lightning bow is just it's too easy it's too easy to acquire and once you get it it literally takes no skill to use when i was actually getting gameplay for the lightning bow on de i was literally just sitting at the teleporter by the rocket pad, spamming the trigger and watching the office because <laughs> that's how easy it is to use this. The Panzer came at me, no big deal. I just kept spamming it, ran around a little bit, killed him, go back to my spot, and continued sitting there spamming the weapon. With the Lightning Bow in its current state, ammo really does not become a problem until around 50, 60 ish. That's when you have to start actually using Alchemical. And again, pairing this with any Gobble Gum, you guys heard it before, pairing with any Gobble Gum, it makes it way too overpowered and it's just so good in every situation ranking up is definitely my absolute favorite thing about this bow right here that's what I did all the time back when DE came out was go on DE with the lightning bow sit there and spam it over and over again ranking up like 40 50 times during a double XP weekend this thing is absolutely amazing and it like truly takes no skill and no focus to actually use this weapon effectively now one more thing I quickly we want to mention is I don't know if you guys remember that one time when a Treyarch actually changed the bows instead of the charge shot taking two shots it only took one shot and that was around for a month or two I think after revelations that right there I don't know if you guys played DE back then but oh my gosh 
that absolutely made the lightning bow a joke and honestly every other bow an absolute joke and thank god they reverted back to the current state it is in now because it was too much and it was too overpowered besides that guys if you enjoyed today's video again drop a like subscribe for more top fives and please let me know in the comment section below if you have any top five ideas or honestly any zombie video ideas i want to know if you guys want to see something else besides these top fives please let me know and besides that guys i will see you in the next one peace out